Well, it looks like Hollywood is still determined to kill satire. How? By making real life stranger than fiction and making fiction just dumb. But in any case, uh, CBS and th this TV show called The Good Doctor have decided to uh, wade into the uh, sex change for children market. Because I guess it's very topical right now, so this is the perfect thing to virtue signal over. Now, we're going to watch this in just a second. And at first glance, this seems like... Uh, it seems like the people who make the show, The Good Doctor, are really into child sex changes. They think they're great. But this thing is so weird. I have to wonder if it's not a, a kind of a subversive statement on it somehow. I'm not sure. Again, life is stranger than fiction these days. And these days, fiction is just garbage. Let's take a look. Boy, I'm a girl. You're transgender? Yes. No. Oh, and before we start this, if you haven't seen this show, uh, the good doctor, this doctor is autistic. So he tends to blurt out uh, things that are politically incorrect, and I guess that's just a part of the charm of the show. Let's watch. Boy, I'm a girl. You're transgender? Yes. No, Quinn has XY chromosomes like Jared and me, not XX like you. Science says he's male. No, Quinn has gender dysphoria. Her assigned gender is not the one she identifies with. She's mismatched, Dr. Murphy. But biologically... What even biologically? How do you know you're supposed to be a boy? Your question doesn't make sense. I'm not supposed to be anything. I am a boy. Biolog okay. I'm liking this doctor. This doctor is based. <laughs> Your question doesn't make sense. Why don't we hear this more often, huh? Why don't we hear that more often? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Biologically, that's it. Okay, deep tenderness at McBurney's point. Could be acute appendicitis. Murphy, get imaging to confirm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Do you wear dresses? Murphy? Don't. Quinn is a boy who thinks he's a girl. I want to know why he thinks that. Sometimes I wear dresses, but sometimes I wear leggings. Do you like the color pink? <laughs> I'm more of a purple girl. Do you play with dolls? Not since I was five, but I'm super into mermaids. Do you take dance? Murphy, 20 questions are up. I only asked four. Do you it wear doesn't perfume? Matter. The CT's ready. Let's Do go. Do you always paint your nails? Let's go. What's amazing in this is that he's presented as being kind of embarrassing and he doesn't get it. And you know, that that's not how you're supposed to act. You're not supposed to ask questions, but he's asking the the important questions. He's asking, he's saying, I want to understand why this boy thinks they're a girl. Honestly, that is the right question. That's the only question that doctors or you know, psychiatrists or psychologists should be asking. Why does this person think this? And then maybe, maybe try and fix it. The rest just come across as cult members. But anyway, let's continue. Do you think he's complicated or confused? Dude, you gotta quit calling her a he. We're never going to win this competition if you're disrespecting our patient. Don't they have transgender people in Wyoming? Okay, transgender patient care was not part of my medical school curriculum. Was it part of yours? No. Quinn doesn't have appendicitis. He has testicular cancer. She. She. <laughs> I mean, this is so perfectly cringe. And that's what makes me wonder if this is some sort of 4D chess from the writers. They're actually mocking this whole situation. It's either that or they're trying to kill satire. I don't know. All I know is that it, it, that's probably the most cringe thing I've seen, I don't know, at least in the last 10 minutes. I mean, this is this is funny. I'll give it that. It's funny. I mean, you don't need satire when this exists. It is its own satire. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. Billboard Chris says, uh, all doctors need to be like the good doctor. He knows what a boy is. The MRI machine is also a transphobe. <laughs> Let's see what Not The Bee had to say about this. Uh, CBS tried to use an autistic white doctor to show how awful transphobia is, but he came off as based instead. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite thing I've seen all week. Uh, besides being one of the cringiest things to ever air on television, this clip from a network TV show, The Good Doctor, shows us just how insane our entire culture has become. <laughs> she. Excuse me, it's ma'am. 
How about this from Ketchup? Incredible. The autistic doctor, who's the main character on the show, correctly identifies the male patient as a male while everyone around him is in acute denial of reality. How about this? Uh, Oren McIntyre, autistic white male, taught the nuances of current political propaganda by a diverse cast of his enlightened betters. Yeah, and that's really what's going on here. And I'd like to think that the writers are just fucking with everybody because this is so, I mean, it's hilarious. But, you know, the most likely hypothesis here is that the, the writers are woke and they're stupid and they're part of a cult. And none of this seems hilarious or funny to them in the slightest. They probably think that it's profound. And we may laugh at how inane and cringe this is. But the underlying ideas here and the underlying philosophy here is profound. It's profoundly disturbing. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.